going to try that again just to prove it to myself right so just quickly to recap I don't want to drag on too much because people switch off they lose interest after whatever it is so many seconds right menu I'll just get this in my shot if you can, probably can't see both clear the warnings press your menu button go down to Click it down to advanced settings, select vehicle, select locks, select auto unlock, leave it on. Yep, inhibit is turned off. So, <coughs> lock the van. This is done off the remote, obviously. Now again, you have to wait 30 seconds for all these patches to apply. Because if you lock the van and then try and open the switches, use the switches inside, they still work, you have to wait 30 seconds. So always, any, any checks you're doing on your own van, wait 30 seconds, time it on your phone. It's quite, it's quite an accurate timing. So, van doors are locked. <coughs> um, I think that's just about coming up to 30 seconds in a minute. So we've done this one. We change the uh, change the door for the rep lock with a slip ring. That's me. Got to alarm this as well. So that's been well over 30 seconds. Right, watch carefully. I'm using a key, but in a braking, obviously it would be a screwdriver or similar. So left, I've not pressed any buttons. Left. It's fine. It doesn't unlock the back. It used to on the old customs and the transits is what caused the problem. So I've just locked, unlocked this now mechanically. Open the door. Buttons don't work. There we go. Nice little warning. Switch to inhibited security mode. Well, they're not because listen. There you go. Back the bottom. You flick the top. The van's open. So. Always make sure if your van is used by anyone else or serviced by anyone else, um, don't upset your employees because they could tell some bloke down the pub. Yeah, me boss, give me a bollocking. I was late or I touched his daughter or you know, I sent him a rude text. Always make sure that your, again, I'll show you again, it's quite critical. Make sure no one changes this setting. If you're just going to rely on the Ford. Ford security patch, you need to make sure that nobody has disabled switch inhibit. That should be on. Very, very important. If you're going to rely on the Ford patch and not spend any money on deadlocks or slam locks or alarms or rep locks, if you're just going to rely on the Ford telling you to fix the problem, make sure that switch, that, sorry, that option is ticked. If it's unticked by anyone, mechanic, employee, ex-girlfriend, somebody who owes you money, then your van is just as vulnerable as the first custom that came out in 2012 and the custom that basically drove this crime spree, the, the custom and the transit. Um, this lock, the HU101, this is what drove the crime spree, the weakness of this lock. So yeah, make sure, I'll say it again, make sure Nobody will or can or has turned off your inhibit button. So as a drone on, quite an important uh, option. I didn't realise you could turn off the option. You couldn't on the Euro 6, you know, the Mark II Custom. Um, that was kind of the software patch applied it and didn't leave an option to turn it off. What they've done now with the facelift custom um, is to enable it to be turned off. So thanks for watching. Uh, there are ways around it, obviously use us to change your rep lock. Uh, we can also disable these buttons physically so that switch will never do anything, ever. Um, we can disconnect other wires. So yeah, just be vigilant yeah, that no one's messing with your settings because that setting will basically just make your van as vulnerable as it ever was. Thanks for watching, Andy at VehicleFit 07900 60 50 40. Cheers.